Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Well, today we're looking at part three of my Ubuntu Lucid Links review. So in Ubuntu 10.04, they're trying to make things easier and configuring your hardware is supposed to be easier. So when I first got in, I immediately go into connecting to the network, right? So I've made sure that my wireless network adapter has access to my router. I know the password and I make sure that this is set to enabled. Of course, we want to enable networking. We want to enable the uh, wireless networking. And if those two check boxes are not on, then obviously you're not going to be connecting to nothing. Next thing you need to do is actually set up the connection to your network, right? So if you've never done this before, basically when you click on the icon here, there's an option to connect to a hidden wireless network, for example. I've already connected to this network called Goblin here. But just to show you how you create a new wireless network or how you connect to a hidden one, you click on the option here. For example, click uh, the hidden one. And then put in the name of the SSID. So on your router, you've got an SSID. It might be hidden. It might not be hidden. It might be visible. Doesn't matter. You put it in there. Then the next thing is to specify what wireless security you're using. And from this drop down list, you've got all the different choices. So select the one that you have enabled on your router. Okay, you might have uh, WEP or you might have uh, WPA. So once you've selected the one that you have already enabled on your router, then of course you put in the password that you've specified on your router to allow you to connect to it, right? So obviously you've got a password to connect to your internet because you've got security enabled. So that's the password that you need to put in here fairly simple and straightforward after you've done that then you will be able to connect to the internet and you're all set that's the first thing that I do here when uh, it comes to hardware make sure that I'm connected to the internet now the second thing that I do is enable the ATI video card that I have installed so I go into hardware drivers there and then it searches to see what is going on with the driver situation for my video card and obviously, because this is a brand new installation, it's detecting that the driver is not activated, but it did detect that it's an ATI card. So uh, basically, by clicking on activate, we're going to download automatically the drivers. Okay, so these are third party drivers that, uh, for example, ATI has uh, put together and created and supported for uh, Ubuntu and Linux, basically. And it'll download and install it for you. So it's hassle free. After it's done, you just restart, go back in to the hardware drivers and you'll see that now it's green. Okay, now it's activated basically. And now you'll be able to use the desktop effects and all those 3D, you know, cube and fancy uh, effects that uh, you see in Ubuntu. So many of you that complain and say, well, I can't get, I can't enable anything. Well, you have to have these drivers enabled first. Okay, then after you've done that, then you can go into your appearance. Uh, you can see that there's the Catalyst Control Center is also in there. And um, you can tweak your video card settings for 3D, for example. Okay, and that's the first thing that you should be doing is tweaking your video card, just making sure that things are set up the way you want it uh, for uh, whatever it is that you plan to do. Okay, now in my next video, what I'm going to do is actually go through how I've enabled and configured the special effects. So now that I've got the video card um, recognized and the drivers are installed properly, now we can get some fancy effects going on and um, that's the next thing that I'm going to talk about on how I've done that in Ubuntu. Okay, so keep the uh, questions coming and thank you for watching, guys.